Right, do we have a hiding place right, when you I am, pass? I am digging this backwards now, so it is going to be blocked off. If you've got enough bridges to build over, they're just made of wood, but... Actually, you'd have to have them with you. I'll make a, yeah, a bridge say you over can't for you can't make now. them in your inventory, can you? Don't worry. I'll make you a little bridge. Uh, coming up to do that now. Right, so, little bridge. Over to this area. Oh, actually, let me not put it all the way down there. I will bridge up to here. Because that's off Gorm's path. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So yep. we're breaking, breaking his path to see if to that, see if that yeah. that impedes his progress. Yeah. He it might just be a case that he'll just go straight over it and create new ground. Yeah. On the plus side, that means you could farm ground. <laughs> yeah. There's always an option. Really hope. Oh yeah, Gorm, Gorm comes. Is Gorm just going to go across? Yes, Gorm just goes straight across. Doesn't care. All right, so that that plan is a no go. I need to. Unless we just follow Gorm for a while and see where I'm Gorm gonna goes. Yeah, let's follow him. See how far we can go. Might find all kinds of riches and secrets along the way. This is looking ever more like it is just a circular path. Oh, what's this? Oh, just a bunch of slimes and larval masses. It seems. a little bit better. Here we are, the iron area. Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe for now, following through on Gorm isn't the right move. Maybe I what think we the Hive do. Mother might actually be worthwhile. Yeah. Alright, lots of the egg sacks, unfortunately. This may be a little bit of a risky place. I'll take care of the ones behind us. Oh, the uh, the spikes and the slimes do not get on. Interesting to know. Very interesting to know. That's very useful info. Right, watch out. That is going to hurt a lot. Draw back. We can handle the little ones. Oh. No, we can't. Ah, I didn't draw back quickly enough. <laughs> and unfortunately, I yoinked a bunch of your gear because you died right next to me. Don't worry. And the gravestone came up. Don't oh, you can that. actually That's take fine. out the uh, cocoons before it uh, hatches. Yeah. Useful to know. I am not the most careful player in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I've got a load oh, of junk a... broken shovels, though. So I'm going to drop those in favor of picking up more useful things. Uh, some just sandy soil. I'll pick up those. Okay. I'm going to quaff a potion. Get my health up. Wait a second. Sheila, did you die with potions in your inventory? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not alone! Well, it's because it was so... It wasn't because I was, like, you know, struggling for health or regen or anything like that. It was just basically because I was... It was so fast. Like yeah, they do attack it, you know? very, very quickly. On the plus side, we are constantly gaining more levels in combat, which is allowing us to fight faster. All right, let's get back then. Got so much gubbins to drop off. Oh, my lord. Yeah, yeah, because you've got all my gubbins as well. Yes. It's not useful. All right. Yeah, it's nice to have like a, a more direct route over to Gorm's like, tunnel then, isn't it? Yep. Right, first Nothing and foremost, else. I will drop off all of the uh, items. Got more what are you bombs. doing in, my, in our base? Stupid slime. Oh, we only need two more uh, mechanical parts, but I, I'm fairly certain that we know who Gorm the Devourer is now. Yeah. I can't But it imagine. might help to be able to know where he is on the route if it tracks him around his route. Oh, that's a good point, actually, yeah. Crossing the road to know where he is. That is, that is something I hadn't even considered. So yeah, that's uh, that's a really good point. So we need five gemstones and five mechanical parts. So how are we doing on the mechanical parts? We've got two, have we, so far? Uh, no, three now. Three, okay. Well, I think I think it'd be useful as soon as we do to yeah use them for that. Definitely. 
I like dropping off the acid slimes. Did you want to go and try and see what the hive mother was all about? Do you want me to go dig a tunnel to the hive mother? I'm fine with either. If you'd like to, yeah. We can definitely uh, go yeah. and give it a poke. Let me just quickly grab a... Uh, do you want to finish off your room first, though? Nah, <laughs> we don't need to do that. I don't need a bedroom. What the... No, no. Maybe I'll maybe I will. Maybe I'll give it some doors. Yeah, I think it might be wise. Uh, make three uh, doors. I'm going to get a bunch more stuff cooking. What do you mean you need copper to make doors? Well, I mean you can't mm -hmm. just make them those hinges out of nothing. Alright, I think at this point we could easily like just on the tin that I brought back, we can have full um sets now of uh, tin armor. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and make us both some uh, tin pants. I'll put yours into the clothing chest. Put mine down. Oh, where did I put those? Some tin pants, did you? Mm. Very nice. But yeah, I want to know what the hive mothers are have all about you... because it might be that Gorm is the more difficult of yeah. the two. Have you picked up all of the um, scrap parts? I have indeed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll put them back in. Right. No, you need I'm potty, popping a uh, helmet in there for you now as well. There we go. Full tin armor. Woohoo! Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. I am the golden girl. Yeah, look at me. Oh, I look so cool. I look like a little Roman centurion. It does have a bit of a centurion look, doesn't it? Right, okay, so... Beyond that, we can make the shield. Shield yourself and reduce any incoming damage by 70%. Mm. But you'd have to give up your lantern for it. Then additionally, you've got the slingshot. Simple range weapon to fire away at enemies. I mean, that's a possible one. Uh, I think... I to make all my food out of glowing, glowing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we can probably make a couple more potions as well. Got enraged Potion light. potions. Uh, that one I can't do. Because we don't have the Carrox, unfortunately. The larval meat would require a farm of some de some um, description. Yeah. But I can definitely make enough healing potions. Do you want a shield? Um. Instead of your lantern. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no sounds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. It's okay. okay I'm, I'm good now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I'd love a shield. <laughs> okay. Shield get. Uh, I'm also going to make... I've, I've only got enough to make one. Uh, so I'm going to make one slingshot as well. Okay. For now, that should be enough. Oh, I can definitely tell a Sheila path when I see one. Or don't see one, as the case may be. <laughs> there we go. Don't have too much in terms of uh, torches, sadly. Oh, good. We've got Running out of this the... area over here. Uh, right. Oh. Uh... I'm going to give you the shield if that's okay i'm just going to drop it at my feet oh, yeah now. sure Tonk. thank you there you go lovely and i need some more oh hello there oh, got it uh got a new talent in vitality apparently 18 plus 18 percent of all skill points added to max health nice my max health really is now nice. 180 well 186 actually very nice I'm right, gonna drop down plenty of torches. 
little egg sack over there I'm going to go and deal with if I can. Oh dear. No torches, I'm afraid. Yeah, not having that that uh, lantern actually is genuinely rough. Not gonna lie. That actually makes things pretty difficult. So, I'm gonna have to be much more um, proactive with uh, placing things up. Oh, by the way, <laughs> it just occurred to me, something that Belial told me. Right. You can use uh, a, if you press shift, It'll default to your torch. So you can quickly place things down even if you're not equipped. You ah, don't have your torch in oh, your that's inventory. that's really, really good. Yes. Yeah. It's very good. Okay, this ground is becoming increasing. Oh, you've got a, you've got one following you. Okay, draw back. Two draw back. follow me. Draw back. Just get back. Good job. Right, well not done. too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all, actually. But we can't. I try to dig up this ground. You got to entirely dig the ground up. Like it's not, it's not just chrysalis anymore. It's like lava ground. Oh, right. I didn't understand what you were saying before. That is interesting. So this is very seriously a different biome then. Yeah, new yeah. crafting point. So I'm actually going to dig towards the hive, the hive mother, not through the lava ground. See if I can, like, scout it out a bit Oh, more. wow, the difference between those, uh, the red insects hitting you with the shield versus not is about 80 points of damage. That was a painful for science, but I feel a like useful for science. I can't get through this wall. Okay, I'll be down there in a second to have a look. Oh, God, I'm so fast now. Zoom, zoom! Oh, how about you? I can scarcely control myself. I'm moving what? way too fast. What? Spike traps in the ground. Okay, so there are... Righty oh, so there are different... Uh, there are, like, natural booby traps. I was wondering if that was going to be the case or not. Yeah. Looks like that that wall is actually impervious to damage. It looks like this is lava wall. All right. Yeah, this is the surround here. Yeah. So you may have it may force you to go down this this like lava route full of spikes and stuff. Right. In order to be able to access the hive mother and I just walk straight through them again. Okay, well, I'm going to explore the the outside. Oh, you can just pickaxe them up. <laughs> okay. Oh. This is yellow. Wait. Is this acid? What do you think, Sheila? What's that, sorry? Do you... I wonder if that's acid. There was water above us. Oh, right, okay. I wonder if that's acidic. Maybe. If we can... Oh, where, where we crossed across the, the river? Yeah. Something. Ouch. Uh, okay, I do you notice that does hurt. Um... I wonder... Okay, so first and foremost, we've got loads of these little spike traps, and these do a decent chunk of damage. Look also, behind you. Yeah, I know. But, the big thing that I'm interested in is how much damage does this stuff do? For Gorm. Because there's one thing oh, going over right. water, it's another thing entirely going over acid, I would imagine. Well, it depends on how far that acid lake goes. I don't think it goes very far, and it might be... It, as long as it's through. outside, as long as it gets outside of the biome, yeah, then I should be able to Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. It looks like it's surrounded by the lava wall. 
Oh, that's what I wanted to check. Because I, I yeah. actually stopped going down just before I would have hit that. Yeah, I think it's part of the biome in general. But it yeah, would make sense, test but it. it would be interesting to find out. Yeah, it does look like it's going back around this way. It's purely the mother's. Yeah, that's a shame. That would have been fantastic if that was the intended use of it. Yeah, it would have been really cool. If that, like, that's the key to Gorm, you have to bring acid to it. That being said... Yeah. But there might be something once we kill the... the you know the how we've got mother, the slowing sword? Yeah, and there yeah. also might be something, speeds us up or something. that uh, allows us to uh, burrow through the larval stuff as well. My inventory is oh, okay. Oh Almost my goodness, it's fireballs? What? They're not fireballs. It's something well, burrowing acid. through the ground. Oh, right. I mentioned that those things look like they exploded, but I don't Ooh. think they... Ex well, they do explode, but they ex they pop acid everywhere. Yeah. It's a matter of taking them out before they can do that. Hello. I am low on health at this point, but... Gonna gobble down some more food. You got health potions. I do actually, that's a good point. But it looks like there's a chest up here. Okay. Got a petrified egg, a grub knot, and some more fiber, okay. And also some a larval hive chest. Woohoo! <laughs> more chests. Very nice. We can put that in our base. With yeah. all the other cool chests we've got. Exactly. Oh, oh dear. That's an awful lot of acid. And incoming nastiness. Hey, day dead. That's good. Yeah, I need so to I make stand more with a sword torches. while you stand. Huh? I need to make more torches. Because I'm, okay. I'm out and I don't glow. I got 25. Okay. This is definitely giving me the impression that this is actually acid water I only have five bridges left oh, I've got hundreds oh brilliant not hundreds but uh, 170 something well, that's enough <laughs> yeah. I have got enough bridges uh, I wonder if no that doesn't work sadly right, I'm going to have to pop this up onto my toolbar but since torches now that uh, we know that for certain torches can just be quick uh Attached, or rather, quick, um, quick equipped. Yeah. Don't need to have them on my hotbar anymore. Right, we've got some something dying across there. Uh, give me just a second, though. Watch out! Oh. There's those uh, spitballs. There are one hundred percent fish here. Oh, 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 those spikes hurt these. No, I wasn't expecting oh, nice. that. Oh dear God! <gasps> oh back. gosh! That is a whole lot of not nice. Actually, as long as we're attacking unison, two hits kills these things. So. Yeah. But I'm actually thinking that those uh, those spikes are the key. Ah! Watch out! You just walked over acid. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Glowing yellow death on the floor. I forgot that it would hurt. Though, this has actually demonstrated one thing for us. Yep. I mean, somewhat obviously. But, the insects don't care about acid. Now, how f close are we? Uh, we've kind of gone around. It's up to the north now, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't look like there is an easy path up there. Like, No. There isn't a break in the wall that we've missed, is there? There might be, but it doesn't think seem it. Okay, badness and sadness over here. Yep, lots oh. of badness and sadness. Don't rush in and die. Uh, just need to control the engagement. Well done. Ooh, he hits like a truck. God, yeah. Grief. Like I said, the difference between uh, having a shield out and not having it out on those big ones is about 80 points worth of damage. Which is no small difference. 
Yeah. I need to do something to heal myself. I'm gonna... You can always head back and uh, spend some time regenerating. Oh, this is this is rough. I would say draw back for now. Yeah. I will continue to engage. We're being surrounded. Oh, that was that was potentially bad. You did a bad. good job there. Good grief. Ooh. All right. Woof. I do have plenty of food still. I, my uh, sword is down to about a quarter of its health, though. So. Yeah, my sword is pretty so. pretty rough right now. Hello. Yeah, Ouch. you've done it in a awful Ouch. lot of fighting. Ouch, draw, draw right back right now. Oh my lord, my aim is garbage. We probably have tried taking those enemies out from range. <laughs> Yeah, wow, this is... It is definitely an interesting area. I'm not sure that this is the uh, easier of the bosses, based only on I the danger of the ads. hit Gorm. Yeah, but Gorm doesn't hit back. <laughs> yeah, but he just like... It is that. It's just like, yeah. Say what you will about Gorm the Devourer, he's a pacifist. But it looks like this is where this path turns. And starts heading up. Okay. Uh, oh, there's an egg sack back here. The actual hive mother, then. There we go. We've right. cleared a lot of this out, though. We have actually cleared an enormous amount. It may well be worth our time. Give me a second. Oh, yes. One hit, they die. Now, oh we're cooking that with fire. Genius. That is good. Oh, we've got There's one, one right the other behind way us. Now. Oof. That one hit you pretty oh, hard. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, my sword is down. That's why I'm not doing enough damage anymore. Trusty. Okay, we need to go back, I think, then. Trusty. Uh, slingshot just took that one out. My goodness. If your sword is out, then mine's nearly out. Yeah. We need to go back and repair. Time to retreat, I think. We got a long way into here, though. We're nearly yeah. at the hide map. Problem I is, we've now got to get the, all the way back out of here, and we no longer have a means of stopping baddies. Not easily, anyway. I've still got some on my sword. Oh. Well. well. <laughs> I've nabbed the uh, the larval chest, and I popped it in my room. Are, are you gonna do oh. the the honors? I can if you want, but I did the last one, so you just Do need the honors to, of what? Sorry, uh, activating the tracker for. Oh Rome. right, oh, I don't mind if you do that. Oh okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this, and go on the devourer, and activating it now. Wee! Ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, it is actually tracking Gorm the Devourer. That going around his track is yeah. useful. That's actually going to be hugely useful to us because now we know when we can and can't cross his track. Yep. So we can use his track as a um, as a way to get around as well. Yeah. Without getting stomped on by him. No, that 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 actually works really really well for us. I think that works really well. Definitely, the hive mother. We are close to finding. Yeah. We were very close. I think the uh, the route you were on was going to lead directly to the hive mother. Yeah. All right. Let me drop these preciouses. We just back had off. taken too much damage to all our gear at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be worth going up to the iron biome and trying to gear up before we take on the the mother. Then. Uh, we could definitely do that. We only need a little bit of iron in order to in order to yeah exactly get further so sure we can divert our attention to that for a bit if you'd like to, to leveling up our gear a little bit yeah. i think yeah because it was definitely difficult getting past all of her minions which means that she's probably quite difficult to take down yeah that's that's my concern is that <laughs> we're we're struggling this much just getting to the hive mother getting to her yeah absolutely it's a little bit worrying while that uh, the implications of that on our survivability once we get there yeah so let me see if i can make a quick slingshot then and uh i believe we only oh, I need, need wood 
Yeah, we only need um, 20 iron bars. Yeah. We've already so got we, all the tin we, we need, so yeah, sure. Yeah. You want me to, to like, um, harvest the fields, or do you prefer to do that? I don't know. You can go go ahead. I, it'll it'll level up your gardening. I, Again, this, I'm not one of these people that feels... And I know it, it's not very efficient, but I really don't care. Um, I, I very, very firmly believe that everyone should be allowed to, to, to do the things that they're interested in just because someone started doing a thing and has got a higher skill level doesn't mean that you shouldn't enjoy... Uh, you know, exploring that yourself. Like in MMOs and stuff where, like in a guild, the only person who's allowed to farm is the person with the highest farming yeah. skill. It's like, I mean, I still... It makes I'm sense, less, but... I'm making less seeds than um, than I get at the moment. It's probably because yeah. of my gardening level. So yeah. um, you might need to do the odd harvest just to get the seeds back. Sure. What is this? Ooh! Carrot seeds! Ooh, there you go! Nice! Did you find them into the north? Yeah! Nice! That's oh. actually fantastic! Also, I gained a uh, level up in gardening as well. So now I've got a 15% chance to gain a seed when harvesting plants. Plenty of fishing opportunities over here as well. Oh, my lord. I think loads of gold as well. There's a creature with red growing glowing eyes what are you lurking out there in the darkness hmm. that doesn't seem ominous at all no i've also found uh some uh it looks like we've got the chest around here um, unlike more of the ancient variety so getting some interesting drops from them Alright, I may regret this, but I'm going to poke my head up and see what this creature is. Hello? Are you going to attack me? Seems to be following me. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, fair enough. Oh, yeah, I found a carrick as well. Where, where else are you, anyway? Oh, yeah, you're uh, just a little, little ways away. From me. You know what? No, not too far. Why would I even need to... Get into melee range with you when I've got a slingshot. Um, oh, there is another one down here. Oh, let me let me come and see it then. Give me a second. It's like some sort of shaman. Oh yeah. All right. Well, well watch out. Ooh, that was nasty. That was a Ooh. lot of damage, and you ran straight into it. You're on fire. Um, I'm on fire. Heal oh, no. potions. No, it's okay. You're good. You're good. It's it's gone out. But yeah. Uh poor she lab. I aggress it, pull back to uh, await its counterattack. She lab goes in to attack it though. Not that was poor communication on my part. I did not let you know that I was about uh, to engage. You were saying it's it telegraphs, but I didn't know what the telegraph was. Oh, <laughs> that's the first time I've seen that one. But yeah, it, it just basically wound up a bit, um, and then unleashed magic. So interesting. We're now facing. Oh yeah, so we have fireball hurling dudes. Yeah, in fireball this hurling shamans. That's really noted. Hello. Nope. Crystal Skull Shard? An ancient crystal skull shard that is only the fraction of something bigger. Oh, I need ten of them. Hmm. You get those off the shamans. I can't plant the carrot. I've got a carrot seed here. Right. It says it's a tough seed that only grows in stone. Oh. Will so, I yeah. am I about to be very thankful that I made a tin shovel? Stony ground. Okay. Digging up some stony ground to bring back so we can plant our yeah, carrots. So you're gonna need to make a little a, a little carrot garden with stony ground, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yep. 
That's actually pretty cool. I was so disappointed when they took that those kinds of requirements out of Terraria. I I still haven't forgiven them for that. I loved the idea that you had to make uh, a a garden that had a little layer of, of uh, lava to be able to grow fire blossoms. I adored the fact that you could only grow um, uh, what was it uh, water weed or water lily or whatever it was called in water. Like you couldn't just get a a piece of soil from that biome yeah. from the druid. You actively needed to supply the the plant. You, like you had to build an interest in greenhouse. Uh, nice work back here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig through this wall and make a little carrot garden. Oh, there we go. Stone brick, stone floor. Yep, stone fence, stone fence gate, stone door, stone bridge. That is perfect. Did you bring back any iron as well? Because we've still got yeah, enough yeah, for me to make an iron pickaxe. Loads with. in there. Yep. Cool. In this case, I'm switching oh, this room out completely. Uh, I Instead of going with the painted floors and painted oh, walls... Oh, no. We need a gold bar, so we're going to have to make the smelter kill, I think. Okay, well, make it so. Got 27 I'll gold. I'll make it so. And, uh... Where shall I pop that, then? Uh, the smelter kill, you can just put it at the, uh, just to the edge at of the that one of furnace, the... yeah. Yeah, there we are. Smelter kiln. Smelting gold. There we are. Lovely. Gold and scarlet. We need to find scarlet ore soon. We're probably going to be finding that in the next area, I imagine. Yeah. Right, okay. Carracks have been planted. Drop off some gubbins. We used a lot of that iron, <laughs> but we've got a lot of stuff built. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go through iron like it's going out of fashion at this point. That It's basically a new tech level for us, so yeah. that will be expected. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Honestly, all we really need now is to make... I mean, we don't tend to make um, shovels and hose out of... Uh, that are newest materials anyway. We've made the smelter kiln. We've made the uh, the anvil. So it's just got the jewelry workbench. Oh wow! Um, the iron gear actually has a set bonus. Ah, oh, what for having all of it? If you're equipped all in iron gear, then that that's going to be quite useful. Yeah. Oh yeah, plus ninety percent armor at low health. Uh, that's really nice. That might get you out of some real scrapes, actually. So I think we should probably try and go for the the, the iron sets uh, of armor before we go for the hive mother. I would say. Yeah, I th I think that may be well be wise. Uh, we can also still try out our um, tactics against Gorm as well, because there are yeah, more yeah, things absolutely. that we can play around with there. Definitely some more things. Uh, watering can. Use the water seeds and soil. It holds more water than a regular watering can. I'm getting to the, the limit of my back. No, so that's fine. I was I was basically just waiting on, on you to let me know when that happened. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. Five hours fine. is good, too. I think that's <laughs> much, much better than the two hours I've been doing so far. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, I'm 100% okay with us wrapping things up here if you're, if you're all for it. Job, and I'd love to do more at some point. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely going to indulge myself though and get an iron fishing rod all right I, you do that. it's i it has to be do, done do we need okay. to mine any more iron to do that or have we got enough? no we had enough <laughs> but that does mean that you can inherit my tin fishing rod i don't i know Yay! you haven't really done much in the way of fishing yet but no i haven't maybe that will have to happen next time do you, oh wow the purple floor in your room actually kind of has a very regal look to it i'm gonna be honest I yeah, like that. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. It actually does have a really awesome look. I'm going to put a chest in your room, though, and then pop this uh, tin fishing rod in it. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Present for she lab. Yeah. There we go. Tin fishing rod. All for you. Right. Okay. Well, I had so much fun. We've got both of the bosses yeah. on the screen now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we're in we're iron stuff. We haven't seen the Hive Mother yet, and we don't know what no. to expect, but the Hive Mother's lair is 
painfully dangerous. But I suspect that using acid yeah. from the creatures that spawn there and the spikes, that may be the way to take out Gorm. I strongly yeah. suspect that applying... And if it's not, then we need to take out the, the Hive Mother and see if the things that unlock yeah. from the statue will help us with Gorm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I'm really, really happy with that. We've match, actually managed to expand the base a lot. We've got our first NPC. We've got two bedrooms all set up and even decorated a bit. The garden is looking so much better than it was to begin with. I'm yeah, actually nice really happy there. with that. Uh, and we've got a, a reasonably large collection of food items as well. We're not uh, we're not struggling for food yeah, right now. Yeah, and your whole new carrot nice. area and everything. It's amazing. Yeah. And on top of that, of course, we can now make potions as well. Uh, on that note, let me quickly put together a few just to see how much they take. Stone skin potion, yeah, three carrots, three slimes. I would say for mm -hmm. now, that's what we're going to be using the carrots for. <laughs> because yeah. it's going to take us a while to build up a lot of those. But each one of these effectively doubles our armor. It's yeah, and probably, kind possibly of once we get an excess of them, it might and it might be Two that carrots give food that increases armor as well. So That's actually a good point. Yeah. So it's worth uh, in a fact, try. I've got I've got two carrots left that I couldn't use, so I'm gonna pop one in there and one over here. Along with, do we have any lava meat? We don't. That's fine. I will pop in a heart berry instead. Oh, you had a carrot, damn it! I should have realized that. Uh, that should be fine though. Right, so crunchy tulip salad. Yes. Plus 23 armor for five minutes. Not quite as strong as the yeah. stone skin potion. And bearing in mind, the stone skin potion only gives you armor for a minute. So, it's eating. Definitely worth taking yeah, it definitely. Food. I mean, you won't have as much, but what you could do is eat carrot based food and then quaff a ca uh, the stone skin potion as well. To gain yeah, and hope a, you get a stack. Yeah, to gain twice as much crunchy berry pudding. Yeah, we we can definitely make some amazing food now. I'm actually really really happy with that. Really happy. But oh, that's, I'm excited uh, to come back to it now and yeah. do another sesh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well. Okay, well that's gonna be it then. Maybe uh, the next time you see us, we will be taking on the two bosses. I'm hopeful that my plan for slime and spikes will work against Gorm. If not, then it may just come down to getting stupidly high damage output that we can sustain against Gorm for the entire time it's there. We might even need to yeah. uh, dig out the walls along Gorm's track so we can keep pace with Gorm attacking it all the while, but we'll we'll see. All right. Thank you very much for joining me, Sheila. It was a pleasure. Thank you. It was lovely. It was really fun. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>